Hello, it's Annie van Rensburg and um, today I'm going to paint a lion that uh, Molten Springlet uh, requested. So I hope you are going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to use oils today and um, I'm going to first draw it in uh, acrylic ink or drawing ink and then I'm going to use the oil to paint it. The colors I'm going to use is warm grey. I'm going to try this one out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Blue grey, burnt sienna, raw sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, burnt umber, buff titanium, titanium white and paints grey as always. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, you must have a happy new year. Um, I hope this year is, the COVID is going to go away and uh, we all will be more likely to move around and do our thing as we usually did. So uh, I'm going to first just um, ink it. Then I'm just going to let the ink dry and then I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to do a wash over it maybe, I will see. And then I'm going gonna to start painting. So I hope you enjoy. Well, I've got some acrylic ink now. And I'm just going to quickly block in the, the um, lines that I don't want to lose. You don't have to do it if you don't like the ink. You can do it in charcoal or in pencil and leave it like that also. Just gonna put the lines in for me to know where the um, in what what uh, direction the air is growing. What I'm going to do when this is dry, I'm just going to quickly let it dry. It's very hot here in South Africa, so it will be dry quickly. Then I'm just going to put a wash over it maybe. I'm not. I'm thinking about burnt umber maybe or paint grey um, in the acrylics. And then I'm going to start to paint in the oil. Um, I'll just see when I come to, to that stage what color I'm going to use but it will be, will be either burnt umber or paint gray Okay, I think I'm gonna put on a wash of burnt umber in acrylics, and then I'll start to paint on top with the oil, on, with the oils when it's drier. Um, I forgot, and I'm gonna put a little bit of cadmium yellow into the eyes because a predator's eyes is always a little bit yellow. So, just gonna put this on my canvas like this. I'm gonna wet my brush. Remember, it's acrylic. I'm just gonna quickly. Cover the background. I'm not too worried about painting neat or anything. Actually, I like the 
and move them in the background. I like to put on the washes because then you don't have to worry to cover every inch of your canvas or your board or whatever you're working on. Um, it's not necessary, it's just the way that I like it to do it. So this is, this is not uh, necessary to do. But you can try it, maybe you will like it. There you go, it will be quickly dry. And then I'm going to start painting. Okay, it's dry now. I'm going to use a few brushes. And um, I've put up my colors here. Oh, I forgot the white. And then um, I'm going to start painting. So you can just sit back and relax. And enjoy the process. First I'm going to start with a thin wash everywhere where the, the darkness is going to be. I'm just taking a little bit of burnt umber and sometimes I put a little bit of my paint scrape with it to darken it a little bit more slightly. I'm just doing it very thinly. I'm not uh, painting thick now. I'll come back to it later. Just want to get something going there. Back to the eyes later, I just want to uh, get something going there. Do the background first because I want to take some of this uh, main offing across over 
to overlap it so I'm just gonna take my blue gray I'm just gonna quickly put in my background So sorry I saw somebody phoned me while I was busy um, doing my video and now everything is I lost all this footage from um, as I have painted it but I'll, I'll try and um, quickly refresh uh, I've put a cut orange and a little bit of my buff titanium here on the highlights here around the face here there and there a little bit there and I put raw sienna I used raw sienna to put in this shadowy part of his face and I used the yellow ochre with the white or the buff titanium to do the more highlighty bits like there and there and there and a little bit there this bottom one I'm not finished yet I'm just gonna paint it um, a little bit of paint grave burnt umber because I wanted to give a a little bit of a dog body there so I'm so sorry about that um, things like that happen all the time so uh, I can't wipe it off and start again, so uh, yeah, be just bear with me, please. a little bit of my yellow ochre uh, where this orange um, is just a little bit too much so I'm just gonna highlight here and there
leftover point so I'm just putting it thicker here and there I didn't use that um, warm gray a lot I used it a little bit but I'll, I will still work on it and see um, if I um, can get the hang of it um, I hope you enjoyed this I'm so sorry about the footage that um, that was cut out but luckily you saw me put on the last finishing touches and so on um, I still need to do his uh, beard or what do you call that uh, um, I don't know what you call it now whiskers in English so I'm just gonna quickly quickly put that on and then um, I hope you enjoyed this if you liked it please like and subscribe and hit that bell and um, I hope you have a happy new year all the best for you guys thanks for for watching and commenting and this and subscribing and um, g walking this uh, road with me all the way I really appreciate it and um, as I said sorry about the footage and uh, I hope you will have a nice day um,